MTG Stores, reinventing the art of collecting. In association with GMTG Graded Magic Cards, MTG's premier grading authority. Sponsored by abugames.com, your complete magic superstore. Early days of magic, they approached you and said, we want simple, bright art that's easy to recognize because it's going on a real small area. We won't be able to if, if I showed a card, you could look at the image and tell what the card did. So in my mind, I said, I'm gonna keep it, keep it clean, keep it simple. If you look at most of the art, most of it, was pretty much clean and simple or whatever. I still think there's a charm to some of the original art that just, you can't replicate because it was kind of an innocent charm, simple, like Birds of Paradise. I think any third grader could paint that, probably even better, but it's a fan favorite. You look at it and you go, yeah, that's pretty, you know, crappy, but it has this weird nostalgia, fun factor tied into it. You know, when you open that pack and saw that bright blue and red bird, you know, it stood out. So there's something neat about that style or simplicity in art, I think, so. I paint my own things. I like an emotion. I kind of come up with emotion. I mean, if you look at something, it's more of a feeling. When I'm doing illustrations for people, you, you're kind of really illustrating what they're trying to portray. And that changes, I mean, since the early days, things have changed, details have changed, levels have changed. And over the years, that's changed. Usually they just give you a name of the card and you went up with it. Nowadays, you get a description, format, and all that kind of stuff, so. I like, I like the, I'd rather paint from a feeling. What am I trying to get across? What are you gonna receive? Uh, my favorite one back then was um, Natural Selection. I thought it was a cool piece but it was on a stupid card and no one ever got it signed. No one ever played it because what do you do with it? You do nothing with it. So I kind of liked it, but I never got to sign it. So I was always kind of like, why couldn't they put that on Burry and put the Burry on Natural Selection? That would have been a better swap. So that, that would have been my favorite card of that, of the early sets. And even to this day, man, I don't, I don't take the fans for granted. To me, that's what makes industry. That's what, who's made me who I am and be able to do this today. Um, man, I just, you know, you, you, I'll sign anything. You know, some people put limits, whatever, but to me it's the fans who put me, a lot of people in the business, uh, and I'm serious when I say that. You know, I, I enjoy meeting the fans, and I'll sit and take my time, try to talk to them if I can, because I truly appreciate the fan base. I just do. MTG Stores, reinventing the art of collecting. Find us online at www.mtgstores.com. GMTG Graded Magic Cards, MTG's premier grading authority. Log on to www.gradedmagiccards.com. Sponsored by abugames.com. Visit us for everything magic, including the current hot singles in gaming supplies to high-end graded and signed vintage cards. Video production provided by MindShift Media, specializing in innovative website development, dynamic multimedia solutions, and custom graphic design. Find them online at www.mindshift-media.com.